Thanks for joining me guys for another video beer review. Taking a look at a German beer from Schofferhofer and it is a Weizen Dunkel. Weighing in a nice 5% ABV, 500ml bottle. Another beer that I picked up on my jaunt in Berlin. Um, I think I got it from, I forget the name of the, the supermarket, but there seemed to be quite a few of them knocking about. So I got it in there and it was, I think it was like a Euro 29, Euro 30, something stupid like that. So I'd give it a go. Probably over here in the UK, the name Schofferhofer would be more associated with the Rattler that they knock out in quite a few supermarkets now. Which <coughs> is pretty decent in my humble opinion as a, as a thirst quencher, a, a nice low ABV knockback beer um, but yeah the I mean they got a massive portfolio of different styles of beer I opted for the uh, the Dunkel Weizen <clears throat> so let's see what we get with it so almost like sort of muddy looking in appearance not na nothing getting through it that's really really dense that is a nice tight two and a half three finger does white head on the top I can't really see the carbonation, there's a little bit kicking up on there. But yeah, it looks like a right mud bath. Brown bread and malt. Mini school though, not a great deal. Yeah, we'll run with that. Brown bread and malt, let's dive in. Cheers. I need to go in again. Okay. Wow. Um, not in that way. Wow. A German beer that's left me slightly. Hmm. Now that's the first. That is the first. Um, it's got a, a bit of a... The, the, the classic, I mean, a lot of uh, big macro ale companies in this country have that trait of getting, sometimes get a penny piece taste in it. I'm getting it in this, which is a bit of a travesty. Um, yeah, it hangs around. It's not a nice flavour. Yeah, it takes the edge off that little bit of multi brown bready sort of flavour. Best before 9th 24, so it's it's got a, a fair bit of date on it. Drinkable, it is drinkable, but it's it's yeah by no means. Wow, like uh, you'd expect from a German beer, really. The body's pretty decent. Again, you've got that. It's sort of like padded out a little bit with a sort of bready mouth feel to it. Um, there's a touch of sweetness in there, but like I said, it's that it's that copper coin penny piece taste. It kind of spoils it, really. Uh, yeah. Wow, a German beer that doesn't hit the mark. Oh. But as for, you know, going back to the Radler, that is decent. If you can call it beer. Yeah, not, not wild by that. If you were to sort of blind taste it, you'd probably think it was a... A dodgy, ropey UK brewery having a stab at a, a German style. It's one of them sort of deals. Um, 
But I mean, at the end of the day, one euro thirty is not the end of the bloody world, is it? I'll I'll drink it, but it, yeah, wanna bother with it again? There we go, Schofhofer, uh, their Vizen Dunkel at five percent ABV. Mm, yeah. <laughs> See you on my next one. Cheers.